Hey, welcome. Now, as you have read the title, can gravity of black hole bend the light? That means that we are now here about to explain that is the gravity or the gravitational force of black hole is so strong that it can even bend the photons that is nothing but the light. Now, what is the answer? The answer is obviously yes. Gravity of the black hole is so 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 strong that it can even bend the light or it can even bend the photon and this process in or Einstein described this process as gravitational lensing. The phenomenon of the bending of the photons or bending of light due to a extra strong gravitational force of the black hole is nothing but gravitational lensing. Yes, it is gravitational lensing. So this is what scientists say a black hole. There are actually many forms of black hole like stellar black hole, we can say dynamic black holes or Noah supernova black holes and all that stuff. But this is what a black hole and it has a very 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 huge amount of gravitational force. A very huge amount of gravitational pull is obtained by the black hole and some sort of stellar black holes, we can say stellar black holes, have the core as neutron star. That sounds so interesting, right? The core of black hole forms a neutron star, which is the densest particle in the universe. Or we can say densest particle ever discovered by scientists. Now, let me tell you or let me write down a very interesting fact about gravitational lensing. Now, look what I write. I'll explain it afterwards. So, if we are still on one side, far away from a black hole, of course, because if we go near to that, we would simply be attracted towards the black hole. Our length would be contracted, I'm sorry, our length would be quite infinite because of that gravitational stretching. Uh, so, any object is present on the opposite side of the black hole from where we are still. That means we are still on one side of the black hole and that object is on the other side. Uh, I'll show you a diagram afterwards. Then we would see two images of that object one real and one is mirror image that sounds weird right because we are on one side of the black hole and that object is on the other side of the black hole the other facing side of the black hole so to be honest uh, if the black hole was if that not was a black hole then we wouldn't say uh, or we wouldn't see anything but here we are seeing not one but two images that one is real one and one is its own mirror image so, for pictorial representation, let me just draw you a diagram. So, this is what for a normal planet, for any normal planet, let this be Earth. And this is any object which is emitting light or photon particles. And here I am standing on the other side of the planet, this is on exactly opposite side. So according to the wave theory, it emits light in all the four directions. So it's sheer impossible for me for the light of all these rays to reach here. So I can't see this object, right? But now let's see what happens with black hole. What would happen with the black hole? Since I told you that the black hole can stretch the time, or I'm sorry, black hole can simply bend the light. So, as the photon goes, uh, let us take the extreme thing, as the photon goes here, in this direction, then the black hole stretches light and this photon ray goes like this. And its direction totally changes and when and goes through me. Simply, uh, why should why did I say about mirror images so uh, mirror images that is the photon particle from this direction black hole stretches light so it would go something like this and simply for all other things that is for here
and at some point it won't get deflected simply here at some point it won't get deflected that's how I can see two images I'm here this is a photon emitting light so I get the image uh, two types of images of this light one should be mirror image that is this one and one is real image that is this one so that's how we can see two images in simply one thing so that was nothing but the gravitational lensing or we can say gravity or black hole gravity which has the tendency to even bend light and it's proved by Einstein in my next topic or in my next video I would discuss about that advanced level so let's see so goodbye for now thanks for watching this video and if you like this then do press the like button because I want your support I'm new to it I'm absolutely new to YouTube and yeah do subscribe see you soon guys goodbye